Well, Ken Tomash is on the road tonight. Let's go to Charlotte County. Ken, you got a, a fun assignment tonight. Yes, indeed. Though, Jim, I got to admit, when I got here about 45 minutes ago, I figured there was no way we were going to have a baseball game tonight because it was pouring down rain. But as you know, Mother Nature sometimes is a baseball fan, and I think she's going to shine on us tonight. We're here at Charlotte County Stadium uh, where a living legend of the game of baseball is making an appearance tonight. Chances are you have seen Max Patkins act at a ballpark somewhere sometime over the past 45 years. He's the clown prince of baseball, a crown he's worn since the last time the Cubs were in the World Series. Now that is a long time ago. Max is here to entertain the folks during tonight's game between the Rangers and the Miami Miracle, and he is right here right now. Max, welcome back to Southwest Florida. Pleasure to be back, Kenny. Now, you've been doing this for 45 years, Max. What keeps you going? Why do you keep doing it night after night? Well, I've always given three reasons. First reason, I still make a nice living doing it. That's got to be the main reason. The second reason, I guess when you look like this, and you, you might as well utilize it and make the most of it. So I've been very fortunate since the day when Bill Vex signed me in 1946 to perform in front of 80,000 people at Cleveland Municipal Stadium, and I met Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb, they were being honored. Mm -hmm. And that's the, all that is all sort of mushroomed and on and on. And as I went all over these years, performing in every ballpark, and met every general manager, every ball player mm -hmm. that you've ever known. Make a long story short, <laughs> and the third Please reason, do. <laughs> the third reason is, is because uh, it's, uh, it's in my blood. I just seem to love it. it. And the more I make people laugh, it's a great feeling to know that I can make people laugh. And uh, especially families and kids, they're my best audience. I'm not going to be hokey, but that is the greatest audience in the world. Kids for Max Patkin to see that. At least they can see my face and not seeing a costume. <laughs> a lot of people may not know you were a ball player. That's how this all got started. You, you were a pitcher for many years. That's true. And uh, I've told the story a thousand times. I played five years in the minor leagues, but the greatest story that I ever tell was the one when Joe DiMaggio hit a home run off me in the service really? league game in front of 10,000 servicemen, I followed him around the bases. That's how it all got started. So really, I didn't realize it, as, but that was it. I got so much publicity out of that while I was in the service. And his whole team came out of the dugout and shook my hand at home plate. Wow. Red Ruffing and Joe Gordon and guys from the, you know, in the past, and maybe these young people wouldn't know who they are, but they were. that's the way it really started. And then... Uh, the fact that, uh, that I only weighed 150 pounds in those days compared to 200 today, you should have seen me when I leaned over to get the sign to catcher. I used to be Just a like homely guy in those days. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so glad you're not anymore. Just had my teeth fixed. I just bought a new toothbrush. Oh, good. With one bristle. That's all you need. Well, Max, here's hoping your career goes on for a long, long time. You've been entertaining folks for many years. Well, thank you. And I'll be back in Sarasota, incidentally, next week. Uh, on next Wednesday, I'll be performing in Sarasota. Yeah. So if you miss him here tonight, you can catch Max Patkin, the Clown Prince of Baseball, in Sarasota next week. Max, thanks for being with oh, us. Anytime. I know you have to go get ready for your show. All right. Now, big baseball news.